New 2019-2020 school year right around the corner. Bay District schools are working hard on repairs, but all schools will not be complete by the first day. News 13's Taylor Rambo tells us more about the upcoming renovations. Classes starting in just a few short weeks and Bay District schools are still picking up the pieces from Hurricane Michael. We're getting to them. We're, uh, we're not uh, taking any breaks. We're just as fast as we can go continually. Uh, until everything is complete, and unfortunately, that's going to be a while. The storm causing more than $300 million in damage to school facilities. The district is working with both FEMA and architecture firms to get the schools completed. As quickly as we have the, the damages identified and we can put the scope of work together, uh, it, the projects, the jobs are, are on the street uh, for bid or for selection of a construction manager. Their top concern, roofing. We get the roofs put on, we're going to move inside, then we're going to start uh, the interior work. Some schools will still have modular buildings for some classrooms, like Bay High, Rutherford High and Merritt Brown Middle School. It's not necessarily be completed by the time that students come back. It's have a smaller footprint, have a you know, the least amount of impact on the learning environment as we possibly can. Walter says this is a big project, but school will be in session. So you're going to see areas that are not attractive, not uh, aesthetically pleasing, uh, but we're, we're safe to operate. For News 13, I'm Taylor Rambo, Panhandle Strong.